Have you checked out Change Cars yet? That's the website where you can find your next car because they only list cars from franchise dealers, giving you total peace of mind. That's changecars.co.za. Everybody says the future is electric. Does that include trucking as well? At the launch of the Volvo electric truck. Let's see what they've got in store for us and what it's all really about. You'll find out soon enough. We made another bold statement saying that zero accidents with Volvo trucks. Someone said that's impossible. But you know, 90% of all the accidents is based on the human factor. Every single year, 1.4 million people die in vehicle related accidents. That's 3,700 people every single day. Anti collision sensor. Right. That will pick up the other vehicle in front of me if I drive with adaptive cruise control. Okay. Say maybe I'm fast asleep driving. Yeah. This truck, before it hit the obstacle, it will stop automatically. Fantastic. Safety, Safety features Safety all features. the way. Yep. Typical Volvo, isn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah. Then you'll have this camera here. Okay. For you when you turn left. Yeah. And then it takes the picture and shows you inside the On the dash. Safety so it's a lane system. Yeah. And then just showing, I want to show something here. That if you're into trucks and you're technical, you'll understand the chassis is a little bit longer than a standard yes. because there are six battery packs yes. built into the chassis. Yes. And that obviously, they said up to about 300 kilometers yeah. of range on a charge. Of course, yes. Now that's the critical part, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. Just oh, look at it. Yeah. Fantastic. So From the 2016 Paris Agreement and the Science Space targets that we will have zero emissions from all our products sometime in the future. Also, from all the operations we do, we should reduce our carbon footprints. The Durban plant here in South Africa, we have solar panels on the roof. Maybe we need that in South Africa yeah, because of the load shed. But it also has an environmental impact. Of the ICE, the internal combustion engine, the diesel engine, as we see today. I also said, and if you look at the picture, this is our heavy integer range. All of the models you can order today, that's really good. We can produce them today. We also produce the medium duty range, which we do not have in South Africa, but we have it in Europe and elsewhere. Our so complete range is today fully battery electric. In order to have a well-functioning market, we need to have three areas in place. We need to create the ecosystem of trucks and services. And yes, Volvo, we deliver that. We have that. Okay. The second thing is to look at the energy sources and to get green energy. Power grids, charging infrastructure are key success factors to have this line. But on top of that also, policy makers need to come on board. May 2023, that was like two days ago. Commercial motor in the UK are did a test of that truck at that. You can do it yourself. Both of trucks making promises and delivery. We have the diesel motor, tracked it out, and we've replaced it with what we call the module and the cab. There's a sweet level of uh, acronym that's called the MUC. Um, and then there is the battery control system, the charging control system for the 600 volt system. Um, or DC to DC converters, electric motor drives, all of that sits under the cab. We then move the gearbox backwards into the chassis, and we've put three, uh, two or three electric motors into it instead of having it run from a diesel motor. The fuel tanks have been ripped off, and we've replaced them with rather large battery packs. 
So even though we've done all this to make these vehicles electric, the vehicle still fundamentally remains a commercial commercial vehicle. There are a lot of components that are still very familiar. Chassis rails, axles, suspension, uh, air braking systems, um, the couplings, all of that is exactly what you would normally find in a modern traditional vehicle. So operating it is very, very simple and very seamless. But on to the big changes. So first up is the battery. We are using a lithium ion technology, a 600 volt battery system. Um, the big special thing that we have with our batteries is that battery, lithium ion batteries like to stay in a particular temperature band, usually between 20 to 25 degrees. Um, and we have an active, active cooling system and warming system, temperature control system in the vehicle, which is able to keep them at that level uh, to give them oper an optimal operating uh, range. Um, where we can handle down to minus 20 degrees and all the way up to plus 40. So there was no special requirements to modify anything for the South African environment. So we've built our batteries into, into cube uh, configurations. Um, and each, each cube has a total energy of 90 kilowatt hours. Uh, we make 63 of that available. Uh, the reason for that is we keep, we keep that balance and it extends the lifetime of the battery and not put over, overcharging and under and uh, over discharging the battery. So, so you know, the cube design allows us to be quite modular with how we put the batteries into the vehicle. So we can have, in rigid models, we can have between two and six batteries, and in the tractors between five and six. So with a six battery combination, at a uh, combination weight of between 44 and 45 tons, we can expect between two and 300 kilometers of range. Um, that will then cover most of the regional and distribution work that we do. So on electric drive line, we have two setups here. We have a three motor and a two motor option. The two motor option is for our rigid range, so that's for the smaller, lighter uh, delivery vehicles. The three motor will be exclusively on the tractors. All the vehicles you see here today have got a three motor setting. That is 665 horsepower, that's on the sprint, and 2,400 meters meters of torque. Because the question most people have is, can an electric truck actually pull meaningful weight? Switch on. Push brakes, start. Now, when you see that green light, right. that is idling. It's idling. Yeah. So it's ready to roll. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah? Yeah, it's fun. Okay, but that's all you hear. Yeah. So now rev it for me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Driving now, this yeah. one. And okay. I'm, this is the electric park brake. Okay. Just engage the automatic gear. Yeah. Just accelerate. And there we go. And there we go. And of course, it's the dead, dead silence that makes all the difference. Yes. Timothy driving me here. Yeah. I'm si Well, I'm sitting on the bed in the back over here because that's how big this cab is, of course. I mean, we are talking a heavy-duty truck here. And, I mean, th these are built for the long road and the open road. But, you know what? It's not just how silent it is timothy yes it's how smooth it is it's smooth and uh, i'm just no i mean i can feel that instantly yes 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 and of course typical of big trucks these days the steering so light as well isn't it it's a dynamic steering yeah so this steering if i would change the lane right without indicating okay this steering will just tell me uh, -uh something is not right it and, don't mm -hmm. allow me to change the lane okay so it's a lane departure system yes as they call it on in cars yes okay yes. But yeah. look at that, I mean, you're just swinging that wheel around, yeah. doing... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, like yeah. Mm. Easy. Absolutely amazing. And what sort of... They didn't mention in the presentation. You can obviously cruise at what kind of speed? Uh, you're uh, on the highway now. Uh, 80. So 80 is your yeah, maximum. Yeah, allowed 80. Then you've okay. got two, two different uh, cruise controls. You've got right. your normal cruise control. Okay. And then you've got your adaptive cruise control. Okay. Which that's the one that I like the most. Yeah. So the dynamic steering, what you'll do... So if the vehicle in front of me mm -hmm. is moving 40 and I was coming 80, this truck, because I've set my uh, falling distance to three seconds, right. this truck will pick up the speed of that vehicle and adapt that speed. Correct. And then, just hold you. And if he moves out the way, it'll go it back picks up. up. It picks, picks up. Back up. Yes. So it's so, got the systems like all the top fancy cars these days as well. Yes. Then exactly the, the Even same. if when the, 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 the vehicle has been charged, we charged it up to, say, 90%. Right, and then I'll gain the other uh, consumption of the of, of of the electricity by regenerating. Right. So what I'll do when I'm driving, 
or somewhere where I see my road is flat, I keep my retarder position to mm -hmm. automatic. Then I just deaccelerate and just tap the, the, the brakes. Right. And then the vehicle will regenerate yeah. the power again. Okay. So that builds. I mean, they showed an example where it built up you know, yes. about 10% on, yes. on a 200 kilometer journey. Yes. Yes. So that's amazing. Yes. Timothy, this yes. is really something else. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Of course, the main fact is the silence. Ping, ping, ping as he's reversing. Look who's driving it. Hello, Colin. Hi there. How's everyone? How's it, man? Hey, Colin Wendell, the truck driver. That's good. Go. Colin, have you got a license to drive this thing? I'm only in a parking lot. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> temperature before you set off and that's what the ready to run function is designed for so our system uses fuel equipment and what it does is that you will set a time that you want to leave you and the, the system will turn itself on and set it up so that it is ready at the correct temperature so that when you start your journey your battery is already at the without lithium ion battery packs so each battery pack each cube is is packed into cells which are packed into modules which is then pulled into the battery pack and throughout that pack, there are protective layers between each section to stop any propagation of heat so that they remain safe even in an accident situation. Um, between the packs, there's also protective layers um, to stop any kind of heat propagating from one to the other. So the CCS2 is the European standard plug, so that is a common connector design with all EV cars. So it's not, not a specialist for trucks. We can take a maximum of 250 kilowatt charge. So if you connect up a DC charger with 250 kilowatts, um, that will fill a six battery vehicle from flat to full in just under two hours. The ERS system, uh, basically there's four stages to it. So first with the vehicle spec, we put in your particular truck. Uh, we look at your operation, what is the correct vehicle that will do the work that you need it to do. So we put that in, we'll work on your payloads, and we'll work on whether you need some form of PTO. Our vehicles have three PTO options. Uh, we either have a normal gearbox PTO, because we have an I-shift, we can do an electric motor PTO, or we can do an AC 400-volt output that can power an electrical, an electrical system.